So I just went to launch a print on my P1S and I'm getting an error that says failed to feed filament in the tool head. And then when I open my Bamboo Handy app, it says warning, unable to feed filament into extruder. This could be due to entangled filament or stuck spool. If not, please check if the AMS PTFE tube is connected. Just notice I'm getting a double red flash on the first DIN in my AMS as well. So this issue is one of two. Uh, either the filament can break off inside the AMS and I already have a video showing how to fix that. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Uh, but this seems like the filament break is outside of the AMS. So let's figure out how to fix this. I do see there is filament coming all the way to this additional motor here. And there's also filament coming out this end. And it looks like it is like broken off inside of this tube here. Don't really know what I'm doing, but if this is coming out, then this is probably the right way to go. I'm gonna try and pop this cover off here and see what's going on inside. Oh boy, that's a longer screw than I expected. So this is what's behind that cover. I can see there's a little coupling here for the Bowden tube that goes into the back side or the AMS side of this piece. Okay, so the filament ended here and I still have filament coming out of this side. So there's definitely a filament break in here. I'm really happy with the print quality that I get out of this eSun PLA Pro. But man, is this stuff brittle. It just keeps breaking off in the AMS. After closer inspection, if you pull back this spring, there's another coupler there for how this Bowden tube enters here. So I'm going to push that in and pull out. And we still have some filament in this end of the Bowden tube. Just grab some normal white PLA. And I'm gonna stick this through. Oh, see, we got some coming out now. And the tube is fully clear now. Quick reassembly time. Plug the Bowden tube back into the printer. Coming to the back side of this mechanism here seat that in the coupler and you can see that's seated now i probably should retract this filament but no biggie push it back in and now let's just reinstall this bad boy well that was super easy uh, two screws popped off a bowden tube unjammed it and then put it back on Pretty easy job. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any comments, throw them down below. And thanks for watching.